time once again for the Bias Sports Report. The NHL general managers, they're uh, meeting right now. They've rejected the idea of a coach's challenge in hockey, kind of like the NFL has in football, where the coach is able to challenge a play call. Florida Panthers GM Dale Talon came up with the idea because refs are pretty much useless and blind, but that's never going to change. So no flags for the coaches, though. They are going to change the concept of the All-Star game. Brendan Shanahan says there's going to be details on that very soon. Angela James and Cammie Granato are the first two women inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame as of last night, and I, for one, am a huge fan of that. These women are pioneers of women's hockey and have every right to be honored alongside the men, and some people are all bent out of shape because of it, because certain guys were left off. Even though these women didn't even take their spots, they were added in addition to the four-man limit. I mean, so what if a couple guys didn't make it? Adam Oates, considered one of the greatest playmakers of all time, over a thousand career assists. He doesn't have to be in there. Angela James had 11 goals in five games once. Can you believe that? Lock her in, man. There you go. You're in. Joe Neuendijk, who's that? He's won, what, three Stanley Cups with three different teams? A lot of guys do that. So what? Cami Granato was the 1996 U.S. Women Player of the Year. Right on. So they should name it the Cami Granato Hall of Fame. Pat Burns, one of the greatest coaches of all time. He's on his deathbed battling his third bout of cancer. Sorry, Burnsy. Uh, We're letting the ladies in this time around. He'll be around next year, right? No? Maybe not? They got to get Pat Burns in there, really. Come on. The Cincinnati Bengals playoff chances are pretty much toast after last night's loss to Pittsburgh. Terrell Owens was impressive. Made touchdown catch number 150 and pulled out the mime dance. Did you see it? He started dancing like a mime, right on. And then the second touchdown catch, he ran over a security guard. Uh Uh-oh. And when I say he ran over a security guard, he didn't just knock him over. He ran, like, right through him. He had his back to the play, the security guard, that is, had his back to the play, watching the crowd, doing his job. Along comes Terrell Owens, bowls him right over, and made no effort to get out of the way. So the NFL may review that. They'll probably let the mime dance go, but the no-fun league, you can't run over security guards. And Sunshine Girl Alex is 19 and wants to work in sports public relations. And she's also wearing no pants. Uh Uh-oh. And a Leafs jersey. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. She's a Leafs fan? I don't care. Look at her. She could be a Leafs fan. That's fine. At least the picture on the sun side. I'm not sure the one in the actual paper, but on the sun side, she's wearing no pants and a a Leafs jersey. 